Hello everyone, my name is Guilherme and I'm creating my own 3D game engine using C++ and OpenGL. This is a devlog and by the moment you see this video live on YouTube, it also means that I just released this brand new engine release as the Closed Alpha 2 exclusively for my Discord server members. So if you're interested to use it, consider joining the Discord server using the link in the description below. So let's start the devlog. First things first, my objective here is to create a game engine that is versatile and powerful enough so we can create amazing and advanced games using it, but at the same time extremely simple to use and even a newcomer with zero knowledge about game dev could start using it straightforward. The way I'm doing it is by making it 100% user and usability oriented software. So I'm developing, testing with people, listening to feedbacks, improving it and repeating. Right now, I already did the first exclusive alpha with two people, changed more than 100 things from requests. Then I did a new exclusive alpha with around 20 Discord members, received dozens of feedbacks as well. And this video is basically a fix for those feedbacks. Meaning that, again, today I'm releasing the engine still alpha for all the Discord members to another feedback round. After this round, I will probably release the first 1.0 official release for everyone to use it. So let's figure out what I changed and improved this month. 3, 2, 1, go! New launcher! Still work in progress, but now it shows if your project is compatible with the current game engine version and the last modification date to help you figure out what project is that. You can also now delete projects from the launcher. Improve it, the initial scene settings. When you create a new project, now it automatically creates a new scene for you with some improved settings for a bloom, post-processing and so on. It also adds a default font for you to create UI easily. Improved viewport menus, still work in progress as well, but now the buttons on the top of the viewport are simpler, pleasant and easier to use. I added more useful tools and thanks to the feedbacks, the mouse cursor is hidden when you are walking across the scene using the first person mouse loop tool. And still talking about the editor's interface, did some general interface improvements such as a better and more readable font resolution, better drop-down menus, especially for the new entities. Now you can even right-click in the scene tree to add a new entity. And again, that was a request for the users. New asset system, that's the one that I'm most excited about it. Now almost everything in your project is considered an asset, meaning that everything can be configured, adjusted, moved, renamed, it, duplicated, it, deleted, it, saved it, and loaded. All the data is now serialize it into the own game engine binary format, making it much easier to manipulate, export the project and for the game engine to read and interpret that data. New asset options, as I said, everything can be now modified. You just need to select the asset in the asset browser and it will become editable in the properties tab. The preview settings are already in the engine for some assets are still there and I added some more such as animation configurations like the frame start, frame end the speed and texture settings as well. I will be adding more options later on as well. Now, it's way easier to create game interfaces. The default new project have a font attached to it so we can use. I fixed some issues and now add UI into your game is just a matter of adding a new UI element component to an entity. All the options you may expect like anchoring, transparency, blur, background, font alignment, spacing and also child and parent relationships be between them are there. It it's way easier now. Entities templates improve it. For those who don't know yet, entity template is the way you have to create a set of objects and logics like an enemy or even a player, save that and reuse that same set across all your scenes and levels. If you use Blender, it's similar to the Blender's collections. If you use Unity, similar to the prefabs. Now, guess what? It's an asset, so it's very easy to attach it to an entity uh, in the scene or modify the current setup that you'll be applying to all entities using the template. I did a lot of bug fixing as well, but those are the major changes in this release that, by the way, I'm calling it Alpha 0.9 because very soon 
we will gonna have the 1.0. If you want to check it out and test on your computer to start making games, suggesting new features and so on, consider joining my Discord server, link in the description, share this video, like and subscribe to the channel so you not miss any update. My name is Guilherme and I see you in the next video.